The formulator is trying to formulate away from PEG containing materials and 1,4-dioxane. One of the challenge areas that we've been hearing a lot is with thickeners for surfactant systems. Uh, a lot of the uh, formulators are maybe incorporating fragrances at high levels or some sort of other active ingredients that um, are detracting from the natural viscosity building of the surfactants, or they may be using sulfate-free surfactants, which are typically harder to build viscosity with uh, compared to their uh, traditional sulfate counterparts. Uh, in these cases, a lot of formulators have been using things like PEG-150 disterate, uh, PEG-120 uh, methyl glucose diolate, and, and others. And of course, all these materials do have the, um, uh, I guess, risk of uh, introducing 1,4-dioxane into formulation. And so uh, to avoid uh, those issues, we're recommending that folks look at uh, some other different types of uh, thickening agents um, that can be in the form of gums, uh, cellulosics, clays, a lot of these things when used together in uh, creative ratios can give very good flow uh, parameters and very good thickening efficiency as well. Uh, within our own product line, we have a few ingredients that are a little bit uh, easier to handle and uh, can also provide uh, very good viscosity boosting. Things like our uh, Cololux SAO, Colateric HBS, uh, some of our alkanolamids are, of course, known for their ability to improve viscosity response. And so those might be ingredients that you'd consider looking at uh, in place of the old uh, peg type thickeners uh, that have been, uh, you know, easy to use, um, good compatibility, but unfortunately may contribute uh, to dioxane content in formulation. And of course, we're trying to get that as low as we can for compliance with uh, the New York state law and others that are uh, uh, being proposed.